Thank you, John. Well said. It sticks in my craw that we finally got them to raise money for cycling infrastructure from the paltry $2 million a year for the entire province that the province of BC makes available for it. We finally got them to raise it to $10 million bucks. And before we had a year of that funding, they cut it to $3 million. That's pathetic. People have come today from all over the province, as well as from Victoria. We're really pleased that they made that effort. We know it's an enormous effort. We've got uh, someone here from Vancouver, Jamie Oliver, who's known as the Pedal Pundit. Jamie, I hope you've got someone to hold that bike for you, because he's going to come up here and share something he wrote with all of us. Uh, it's actually Jamie Olivier. Jamie Oliver is British and rich and a good cook. That's okay. But it's a favorable It is a favorable comparison. Uh, so uh, I would like to use one of the oldest forms of protest, the poem. Okay, I wrote this on the uh, ferry on the way over here. <clears throat> Cycling is fun for your body and good for your mind. It's good for the city. It's good all the time. Bicycle commuters can safely say it's the ultimate mental ginger to cleanse work thoughts of your day. <laughs> to ride for fun or because you have no other choice, now is a chance to let them hear your voice. To talk for a moment about the healthy green path, here's a simple bit of basic community math. A human-powered pedal reduces the emissions that are leading to changing climate conditions. Aside from carbon tax credits, there's always the health part. Putting less demand on MSP is a really good start. People who ride are in really good shape. Not getting sick cuts through a lot of red tape. No HST on bikes will make money in the long run for the people, the city, the province, and that is the sum. My logic is sound, you have to admit, now to get the government to commit. Thank you very much.